All right, so I'm out here at the blueberry patch, and you can see I've got a number of blueberries. I keep hearing a noise over there. Hear it? I don't know what it is. It's going like, err. Anyways, <laughs> and that's how you get off topic on a YouTube video. So, I got all these blueberries out here. And I kind of did this on purpose where I did not trim this one properly. This past... Uh, winter and what I want to show you is why it is so important that you trim your blueberry bushes so your blueberries will have stems that are like this dark green are one year old stems that are like this are your two year olds they got some green on them but they're also starting to get that scaly look with a little bit of brown. Then you have limbs like this that are three years old. Now, there's actually another stage after this that's not on this, but this will be good enough for this video. What you're going to notice is on this stem right here, when I go up, I go up halfway up the stem before I get to the first blooms. That means that all of this down through here is wasted. And even if you look at the these side shoots right here, they don't really have any blooms on them. I see one, two, three, four, five, six blooms on those stems. Now, once you get up past the halfway point, then you start to get into quite a bit of blooms on each limb. But what happens is when you let a blueberry bush get this far behind, when you compare it to the other one, the stem right next to it that's two years old, it has blooms all the way up from the very first side shoot, and it's got a lot of blooms all the way up it. So your one-year-old stems don't generally produce anything. Your two-year-old stems produce a decent amount of blooms, your three-year-old stems are only at about half production. Anything above three-year-old gets even worse than that. So, um, I've been raising blueberries now for uh, on and off for about 20 years and then pretty consistently the last seven years. I've had blueberries. These were the first things I put in on the homestead. Um, so I bought it in 2015, but I already had experience going in to raising blueberries. So here's a tip I'm going to give you for people that are just getting started with blueberries, or maybe they don't understand what the difference in these colors of stems are and how that affects production. And I recommended this to another friend of mine. She said, that's a great deal. And I was like, ah, you know, it's just something I've always done. So, you know, that those, uh, plastic um straps that you can buy um think of like the handcuffs i have a whole bunch of those plastic why did i just forget what those are called anyways they come in multiple colors and what you can do is your one year old stems you could you can come out here and say these are green, so put like a white color on them. And then next year you change the white to a different color for two years. So it'll be a blue. And then maybe the third year would be a yellow. And see, then you know that on your next spring, anything that was yellow should be cut away. 
because they're not really going to produce anything and it's just a waste waste of resources if you don't trim your blueberry bush it just won't have as many blooms on it as the other ones not only that it'll stunt its new growth if you can see there's only one two three four five there's only six new limbs on this whole blueberry coming out of the ground now, i'm not talking side shoots coming out of the ground there's only six but if you go to one of these ones that i trim regularly they're just full of new growth take like this one there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in this one spot right here not counting all the, the other areas so that's kind of what i'm getting at pruning blueberries is extremely important for um, vigorous growth and also fruit production the other thing you'll notice almost all of my blueberries have straw in the top of them every one of them does i use straw instead of mulch and let me tell you why espoma ul30 is probably the best fertilizer you can buy for blueberries it's a it's a fertilizer that they love plus it keeps your soil acidic and i buy it off of amazon in 30 pound bags i buy two bags every year i use it not only for my blueberries but some of my other fruit trees and my grapevines and anything that really likes acidic soil and I've had great success with it. I've been using it now for seven years in a row. I don't buy it locally because they usually only have it in 10 pound bags. And the 10 pound bags that I can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot or eight pound bag, I think it is, is almost the same cost as a 30 pound bag. I ain't got to waste the gas to drive two hour round trip to go pick it up. And then plus the cost of it on top of that. So it's just more economical for me to buy 30 pound bags off of Amazon. I go through about 60 pounds a year. Um, fruit trees are the heaviest feeder. Um, what I do is right before they bloom, before they get to this stage, I do two cups, like measuring cups, two cups in each bed. And then when they get to this stage, I do two cups again. And that's all you have to fertilize them every year. Once your soil pH is, is set. And unless you have naturally acidic soil that's down in about the four and a half to five range, you will have to fertilize and acidify blueberries soil every year. Um, natural soil ph in kentucky 7.0 <laughs> so you know i i just got to use a lot of acidic fertilizer on the blueberry plants because um they do best really at four and a half to five ph if you get into like the five and a half to six the leaves will start to turn red instead of green that's one way you know your ph is off on um, blueberries you can actually see kind of what i'm talking about right there the very tips of this one, see how it's getting that kind of reddish tint? Half of the leaf is green, the other half's kind of reddish. That's a fertilizer deficiency, but it's only on this one leaf. It's not like on any of the other ones. So that's probably just something with the way that this limb's growing. Plus, it's, it's one of the side shoots of this one that technically should be cut away this fall. So I'm not too worried about it. Um... But if you see that your blueberry has a lot of discolored, like, like a blueberry's natural leaves are a, this one right here is a good example. This one right here has an absolute pH issue. This is a new bed I just set up last year and I know the soil pH isn't correct on it because it wasn't when I checked it a few weeks ago in the spring and I actually did do uh, three cups in that one instead of four or I did three cups in this one instead of just two. But I didn't want to do too much because I don't want to burn the plant up. So that's something you got to be careful with too. If you already have blueberries in your grow beds, you can't add a whole lot of sulfur at once because you'll just burn the plants up. You have to do it gradually. And to be honest with you, you really should set your beds for blueberries a year before you actually plant the blueberries. So that way you got a whole entire year to get the soil pH right 
and way less chance that you'll burn your blueberries. Um, but that's a good example right there. That's kind of what I mean about the leaves are discolored. They get a reddish color when the pH is off. And that's the only blueberry out here like that because that's a brand new plant. <laughs> um, now it's not, they, they'll actually get much redder than this. Um, this one's, you know, the pH is off, but it's not off as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. But normal blueberry leaf collar. Um, this right here is a pretty good example. It's usually like a bright green. You can get kind of this like some varieties will have this like dull green collar, but that's still normal. So look at that green. Then look at this green. That's only difference is that's two different varieties of blueberries, but they're always a really bright green collar. Even if it's a duller collar, it's still, you know, green. Anyways, that's some blueberry tips I thought I would uh, offer you. Another question, um, I got into a discussion about this last year, and while I'm standing here, I should go ahead and talk about that. Um, a blueberry wants to produce, all blueberries, they want to produce a lot of fruit. See all these blooms on this? Now, a new plant, you would not want to let bloom out like this. Um, if your blueberry is less than, say, five years old, you're going to have to take about half of these blooms off of there. And it's a horrible feeling to do. I know everybody hates it. But trust me, if you don't, you're going to get these little teeny tiny blueberries that don't amount to anything. So the, the thing with overproduction of a blueberry plant, if your berries are really tiny, that's the cause. You've got too many blooms on there. So what you'll have to do the next year, as soon as it gets blooms on it like this, you need to just pull them off. You know, do every, I, one of the things I used to do is I'd come out here and see how like this branch right here, you got all these little side shoots. I'd go up every other side shoot and literally pull off. Here, I'll just do it on this one. Pull off every bloom. Every other, every other branch. If you don't do that, you're just simply not going to get good fruit production. Your berries are going to be really tiny. They're not going to be very sweet. And, uh, and see, it don't hurt them. Otherwise, I wouldn't have just done it on live video on YouTube. And now I'm going to have 700 million people from the, uh, what is that, the SPCA, the fruit version of the SPCA, all turning me into the fruit police or something. But that's just kind of things you got to do. And you have to do, you know, pruning your blueberries and maintaining the correct ratio of blooms to growth for fruit production. You got to do it with blueberries. You got to do it with apple trees. You got to do it with pear trees. You got to do it with cherry trees. You got to do it with plums. Literally all fruits and berries are that way. If they have too many blooms, you just got to pull some of them off. Would you rather have a whole lot of teeny tiny berries that taste like crap? Or would you like to have some nice blueberries that are really sweet? I, I will take fewer berries that are perfect berries any day over berries you can't even eat. Anyways, that's all I wanted to bring up about blueberries. Fertilizing, four and a half to five. Most blueberries prefer four and a half to five on the pH. Keep your stems marked unless you know what they look like. Make sure you get rid of everything more than four years old. And let me go ahead and, because I know I didn't touch on that. If you planted your blueberry bush five years ago and you've never pruned it, never take off more than 30% in one shot. If the blueberry plant has been pruned regularly, you can take off as much as you want. But while a blueberry is getting established and you didn't prune it, which you were supposed to do at three years and you didn't, and then your fourth year you didn't, and now it's the fifth year or something like that, you can only remove 30%. So basically you would count all these stems and let's say that there's 10, you could take away three of them, take away the three that look the oldest. Even if there's five that look really old, only take away three. 
And then the next year you can do the same thing, take away 30%. The year after that, take away 30%. And by the time you do that three years in a row, you will have reset that blueberry back to the way it should be. Um, anyways, that's really all the tips I got on blueberries. As always, if you have any questions, hit the comments below. If you got any tips or tricks about blueberries you want to share, also comment below. If I said anything wrong in this video, give your comments below. Um, the way that we all learn and that we all grow and that we all move forward is by sharing knowledge. So definitely hit the comments. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.